Hello guys, Wooly here and this is a tutorial for my all new 3x3 spiral vault door. Um, it's pretty compact and those of you who follow my channel will know I've already done one of these um, but it was a lot larger and the 1.5 up break up <laughs> the 1.5 update breaks the uh, the old design so this one is 1.5 compatible and as an added bonus is smaller so um, a couple of things to note uh, I will be building this uh, all above ground because it's reasonably complicated uh, and it will be better for you um, you'll be better able to see what's going on and uh, um, if when you come to build it you will need to uh, dig a an 11 by three hole that is one, two, three, four, five blocks deep. And that will put this level at ground level. Um, I'm going to be using a blue rectangle to represent the bottom of that hole. The other thing to note is um, there is a, a caveat on the door material you use in that you're going to have to use a material that has slabs available um, because of this bit here where a full block would cut this um, wire and stop the door from operating. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with the build. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a torch in the corner of our... Um, hole as it were and then we're going to place three blocks and then we're going to zigzag up and down oh, along the bottom like that so there will be four blocks on the second row three bl single blocks on the first row with the group of three there the next thing we're going to do is place two redstone and a repeater on the default setting then a repeater on maximum delay, a piece of redstone, a repeater with two ticks of delay, so click it once, and a repeater on the default setting, and then a torch down here on the side of this block. I'm going to jump up here and place a torch on the top of the end block, a block on top of that torch, and then from the side of the torch, one, two, three blocks and we're going to place two bits of redstone and a repeater on the default setting then on the first raised block here we're going to place a torch a block on top of the torch a torch on side of the on the side of the block and a block on top of that torch now this block is going to have to be your door material because it will be visible uh, we're then going to place two pistons here and another block of your door material here and then we can go and test this with a lever we just place our lever here we get a double extension and a nice retraction and we can leave that lever there for the moment next thing we need to do is um, start laying out the two outer rings of pistons that will form the spiraling motion on open and close. So we locate this block with the torch on and on the uh, first level next to it we place a block and we go up diagonally and along and up diagonally and catching the end of this the side of this redstone here you can just see the hitbox up diagonally again 
and the long. Then we'll have to jump up here. And we're going to place a temporary block here. And a block next to it. So we're going up diagonally again. We're going to place a block on the end face of this. And a temporary block above that. And a block along the side. And we'll leave those temporary blocks there for the moment. And that way we can then play, find this torch again. Up, uh, block there, up diagonally and along, up diagonally, up diagonally and along. And then blocks on the side of the two temporary blocks. So we have these two staircases, like so. And up at the top, we can place a block on top of the last temporary block and then remove these. Go back down to the bottom and place redstone, redstone, repeater. And this repeater wants to be on three ticks of delay, so click it twice. Redstone, red, redstone, repeater, and that's on the default. And then redstone, redstone. At this point, we'll want to cut a couple of uh, wires. So this one here needs to stop, be stopped from joining, so we place a block above it. And this one here... So we place a block above that. We then can work our way backwards down the other side. And we're going to start at the top here and place a repeater on the default setting facing that way. And then it's basically the same as it is on the other side. So um, without the redstone on this block, so we've got redstone, repeater on default, redstone, redstone, repeater, on three ticks, redstone, redstone, and that's that. We can then place our first set of sets of pistons in for the floor and the first wall. We hop up here. We can shift over, sneak over the edge of this and catch the side of the top piston in the double piston extender. And then place a piston next to those that one as well. So piston on the side and piston there. And then we can fill in our, our door material on the floor. Another block there. And at this point, we need our upside down slabs here and here so that we don't cut the wires. We can then catch the edge of this, this redstone's hitbox and place a piston here facing in and one on top of it. And the same on this side on top of that. We can then place a uh, door material in front of those and in the middle and bring that up to three blocks in height. We then want to place redstone on top of this block here. And we want to um, put uh, a upside down slab here and a block to join those two together. And we can run redstone in there and place upside down slabs above the pistons and redstone onto those. In the middle here, we place a block and an upside down slab here and redstone on top of that. At this point, we're gonna come out over the top of the door I'm going to go one block, two block, three block, four block. And we're going to place a repeater here, here, and also here. And put blocks between those repeaters. And then we're going to place on the end here, blocks on either side with a dot of redstone on them. And then from the, from this, and all these repeaters are on the default setting. From here, we're gonna come out one more block and then we're gonna place some temporary scaffold to stand on. If we come out three blocks, that'll be enough. And we can place pistons facing out 
there and there and redstone on the block between them uh, now these pistons can be normal pistons it really doesn't matter unless um, these if making these sticky will grab a block you don't want them to grab um, then we can hop down here and then on the side of this raised block here stick your piston facing down one next to that same on the other side put our door material on the bottom of those then below these two pistons we can place two pistons on each side like so and we're going to want to place a block between those two pistons and then cover this area and we can hop down and fill the last bit in there uh, then what we're going to want to do is bring a block out here and place a repeater on the default setting and then we're going to want to bring a block down and another block down so we've got this little stairway here and we can place redstone on the top of there I'll just fly up to show you okay at this point the actual door mechanism itself is built and we could test that with our lever nice um, and the final thing to do is uh, start building our T flip plot for activation um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little platform a little uh, line of blocks here and then stair down one diagonally and at this point place a block over that torch so that we can jump up here and redstone along the top of these three blocks and redstone here we can then place a pist sticky piston facing up here and a block here a repeater on default here and a block here we can hop down and catch a shift click on the edge of this repeater to place a sticky piston facing down and then a button on either end of the, this row of three will activate the T flip flop and open or close the door Okay, so obviously you're going to want your activation um, button or pressure plate to be more conveniently placed. So we'll look at how you can hook those up. Um, obviously you're going to want to frame these doors in something like this. Okay, um, so we'll work from that. Uh, one method you can use is to place if we pull the floor out a little bit is to get some pressure plates and put them along somewhere in front of the door doesn't have to be there um, and then run redstone along underneath those pressure plates like so um, then it's a simple case of hooking the redstone from those pressure plates up to the end of these three blocks and we can just run redstone along here and then if we hop up here oh I'll do that again and um, and that's that done and as long as you don't cut the wire there you're free to pull the wall and the floor out 
and it all hides away nice and neatly. Okay, so the other method we can use to um, activate this door is if we put a frame around here. We can place a button on this block here, or in fact here, either face of this. Um, and we can run redstone along here, like so. And this button will activate the T flip-flop. However, there is a, a bit of a caveat with this method. And one is um, the fact that this redstone is pointing at this block will mess up the sequence very slightly in this bottom corner. Okay, um, now it's quite easy to fix this if you're using a material that has slabs available. That will fix it. If your, if your material does not have slabs available, um, then what you can do is you can just place a block here in the middle and just grab a button and pop it there. And what that does is it redirects the redstone away from this block, uh, but the T flip-flop will function exactly the same. And you don't get that problem with this block being powered. Um, so yeah, and that is pretty much it. I think it's quite nice. I think it's quite compact for what it does. Um, certainly more compact than my old design. And I don't think it's that complicated to build. Anyway, hope you like the tutorial. Hope you like the design. And uh, can hopefully find a place for it in your world. Anyway, until next time guys, take care of yourselves.